Hey everyone, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Well, I missed yesterday because I was on jury duty. I got called in as a reserve juror and um, they there were 30 of us and they took us into the courtroom and the attorneys asked us questions and then they picked the final 12 or 13 for the jury and I wasn't one of them and I was really happy about it. Although as I walked out, I was like, why didn't they pick me? Why don't they want me? But uh, I'm okay with it. I'm good. Um, so that happened yesterday. And over the weekend, it snowed 10 inches. So we were kind of in, inside most of the, the day on Sunday, I guess. So uh, I've got to say that uh, uh, Goat Bro, yes, you told me about Adobe Fuse last week and guess what I went in and I played with it some so I just wanted to go over what I kind of found out or uh, played with um, I had played with this program when it was M Mixamo Mixamo I'm not sure how to pronounce it um, like years ago two years ago and then Adobe purchased it, took it over, and now they've got Adobe Fuse. So, remember my alley scene in Unity here. I took in the crate, and here it is. And look, I got people. I got characters in my scene. And this is all Adobe Fuse. And it's pretty cool because, take a look at this. Watch this, watch this. I'm going to hit play, and I'm up here on the roof, and if I come over to the edge and look down, look at this guy. He's walking around. Now that is pretty amazing, how you can go out, create a character, export him to Mixamo, I think it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it. And then bring him back in and plop him into Unity, and they walk around. Now that is pretty cool so let's go over what I what I did because I think I'd like one more character maybe standing over on the other side of the car or something like that let's see what we can do about bringing another character in um, so let's uh, let me pause this I just think that's pretty cool now that's not gonna work for my main characters I don't think um, I think my main characters are going to have to be created in Blender um, to my specifications because I need a couple of teenage characters, and I don't, I can't figure out how to do teenagers in uh, Adobe Fuse. In other words, you know, I can't figure out how to m make them younger or older. Anyway, let's go over and take a, a look at Adobe Fuse. Here it is. Um, so this is a free. Uh, uh, download if you have the Adobe C Creative Cloud, which I do here, right? So because I have that, I can go out and download this and give it a try. Now, I don't know that you can do that if you don't have the Adobe Cloud. So my apologies if you don't, but it's still pretty cool just to take a look at uh, because a couple of other programs I think are doing a similar thing. Anyway, Let's see if we can create a character here. Um, we've got, I've used this brute guy. I've used this male scan guy. Um, how about a uh, female, female? I need a guy. I think I need a guy. How about uh, this guy here? Let's try this guy. So if I click on the head, it creates the head. And you got to admit, that looks pretty darn good. Um, and then you do the torso here. So I'm going to choose this male scan for torso. And then male scan for legs. And you can add other ones, but I'm just going to go with this male scan for here and the arms. So there you go. Now you got a character. Um... So now then you can go from this to the, you know, customize here. And in here you can make 
you know, big. You can just drag the, sl the sliders here and make, let me like him uh, shoulder here like this. You can make that bigger, smaller, whatever. But I don't think I need to do that at this point in time. You can also select individual parts here and say you then you get very detailed um, sliders for the brows and every individual piece in, in here so you can really drill down and create your own uh, characters uh, or you know uh, off of the base here um, you can also if I remember you can take this little guy and modify the geometry like this. So if I click symmetry and then I'm going to reduce the modifier size like this, I can grab and pull out and pull in. So say I wanted to like bring the brows down like this, you know, maybe bring the cheeks up a bit like this. I don't know why I'd want to do that, but you never know. It's something like that, let's just say. Um, Maybe I want to make the ears a little bigger or something like that. I don't know. Now he looks <laughs> kind of silly. But you can really kind of drill in and do kind of individual modifications like that. Oh, oh, I hit reset. Oh, well, that's. I thought that, that was okay. Uh, it's reset. All right, well, I kind of want to make one change here. Let me make... Uh, let me try the cheeks here, like like this, just like, ah, oh, that's too small. Let me try this. Whoa, that's gross. All right, something like that. Maybe even pull it out just a little bit like that. I don't know. I'm just playing around. Okay, so now if I just close this and don't hit reset then we got that okay so let's say I've gone through and done all the modifications and um, let's now go to clothing and they don't have a whole lot here but let's just say uh, long sleeve athletic all right looks kind of silly but okay uh, bottoms um, athletic pants. Looks really silly. <laughs> How about boot cut pants? All right, looks a little better. I'm going to go back and change that shirt. Something's not looking quite right. And you can add, you know, you can put the girls shirts on them. So, but that's not too bad, right? Um, let me see. Is there anything else? How about this? Let's see what it looks like. Uh, I don't know. How about... Uh, let's try one more thing here. Let's see what's down here. Uh, <laughs> the skirt. Let's try that. Oh yeah, that's looking good. He is a stylish dude. Very nice. Uh, how about this? <laughs> Hmm, still not loving it. I don't know. Oh, how about this? Okay, there you go. Let's do that. He looks kind of silly, but that's fine. Shoes, Oxfords, boots, boots. How about boots? Let's try that. Good. I love it. So, there's your character. I mean, you... You have to admit it's pretty cool. The problem is, of course, they all look the same. I mean, there are only a few characters, and you'd have to do some serious modifications to get these to look even a bit uh, 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 different. So in that sense, it's like, why not spend the time and actually create your own character? But still, this is pretty cool. So um, tried uh, make human yes i have tried make human in fact what let's do after this here is let's take a look at um 
Manuel's uh, new um, add-on. So the guy that did Make Human now has his own website, I guess, and I've downloaded his add-on. What is his name? Let me see again. Manuel Bastioni. I believe that's the way we way we uh, say that. So I will take a look at that here after this. So yeah, we'll take a look at that. Um, are the clothes on top of the character model? Yeah, um, it is. It is. So they don't remove the character underneath or the geometry underneath, I don't believe. So it, it is over the top. However, if I change the size of the character underneath, I believe the clothes stay the or, or the clothes change as well. So the clothes adapt to the character. Um, all right. So now let's uh, oh let's we can go to texture here, and we can change the color and uh, textures of our. Um, like the shirt or the pants, things like that. You can change all the all the colors here. But I don't think I need to do that. These are fine. These look good. So let's just say that's it. That's what I want. So now what we can do, let me save this real quick. I'm going to call this, I've been calling these guys Thug one, two, three, four, this guy is five. There we go. So um, now what we can do is export it up to Mixamo. So if we go file, animate with Mixamo, then if we go save, <coughs> now it's going to upload, I say, to the website and then we can add a rig and animations to it from there. So I originally found Mixamo two or three years ago and you were able to upload your own characters to it. I'm not able to do that anymore. It's almost as if they've taken that uh, away and now you can only upload characters from Fuse. I could be wrong, but I'm not able yet to figure out how to upload your own character. So it looks like they're making it a little more proprietary. So now it's going to add the rig and it'll even add blend, sh uh, blend shapes or like in Blender uh, sh uh, shape keys. So and those blend shapes will carry over into Unity, which is pretty amazing. Um, in fact, let me, uh, well, here, I'll wait for this to, to go through. Why Adobe Fuse? Because it's fun. <laughs> I'm just playing because I want to see what it does. I want to learn. Um, it just looks cool, and I'm wondering how I can use Blender with this. So here it is now. Got uh, facial blend shapes enabled, finish, and these are all the outputs you can create. So Unity FBX, Blender DAE. Uh, so this can be imported into Blender. So let me hit animate. Now what you get is the character with all these um, animations. So like this. Whoa, where is he going? Let me turn on the camera here. There he goes. Right? Um, let me... A fist pump. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Uh, so you can download or add any of these animations to it. I just want kind of a breathing idol here. Let me try this. Yeah, let's just try this. So I'm gonna just use this. I just need him to be there in the scene, right? 
doing his little breathing idle thing. So I think that's all I want here. So now, let me, I'm going to pause him. I'm going to add this to my assets. And then, if I go over to the assets, and then this is my guy here. Uh, my animations. Here he is. So, I want to download this. And this is what I want to take into Unity with my other characters. So, cue the download. I'm going to do it with the uh, skin, with the, with the character, and uniform keyframe. Because what I found out is if I do any of the others, and I come back here, my guy here that I did is kind of, is kind of choppy. Here, let me hit play, and let me show you what I mean. If I hit play and I'm up on the roof here still, I'm going to jump off. Woohoo! There we go. Hey guys, excuse me. This dude here is kind of is. Oops, sorry, excuse me. Get out of the. Okay. This guy here is a little bit choppy, although, although not bad. Yeah. So my, st my, st my idea with this is here's the uh gun uh cases that we created earlier this guy tried to do a gun deal it isn't going the way he planned he's really bummed out this guy where'd he go there he is this guy is on the phone to the big boss and if things don't go well this guy right here the muscle is going to kick this guy's ass so <laughs> That's my, that's the scenario I have here in my head about how this is going down. So, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Let's go back to Fuse here. Uh, no, let's go back to here, and I'm going to go ahead and download this. Um, I, I'm going to go ahead and use FBX for Unity. Let's try that, and I'm going to download it. <coughs> and here it goes. So processing, now I can just hit, there it goes. Hit download, and there it goes. So now, if I go back to Unity, let's bring them in and see what happens. Um, so here in Unity, I'm going to now go to my downloads, which I believe it went to. And there he is, Thug5, Breathing Idle. Drag that in. Just like we do with everything else. And those are all the normal maps. And I click Fix Now. And so it brought in the FBX, and it also brought in all the materials, or excuse me, all the textures, too. So I'm going to take this guy and just drag him over here. He pops in. Now, the weird thing ab about this is he comes in flipped or transparent. Isn't that kind of creepy? <laughs> so I need to come in here and go to each one of these and see how it's transparent here. I need to change that to opaque. And then that pretty much takes care of the weirdness for some reason I haven't figured out yet why they came why they come in transparent like that but it's a pretty easy fix for now change these two opaque and then so there he is uh, this guy so now I'm going to take this guy and just drag him over here and I want him kind of over here looking at what's going on kind of wondering what's going to happen here so now we've got him there alright so this looks quite like quite an ordeal now I'm going to save hit play oh he isn't going to move quite yet there's a couple more things we need to do to get him to move around but there he is now I need to get him to move 
around, I've got to import the rig and the animations. So the rig here, um, Unity has several kinds of rigs. I'm going to choose humanoid. That seems to be the one that works pretty well. And if I hit apply, if I get a little uh, check mark right there, that's what you want. That means everything is good to go. And then over here in the animations, um, here's that breathing idle clip. Um, now that it's configured the humanoid rig, we've got all green green lights here, which is what you want. And I want it to loop as well, so I'll, I'll check that and then hit apply. And then if I come down here and hit play, you can see our guy go through his animations here. All right, so now if I take this guy and I need to create an animator controller right here, you can see if I select that FBX here, you can see in the anim animator, we need an, anim an animator controller. So to do that, you just cr create one. Create animator controller, and I'll call this Thug5 uh, animator controller. I mean, there we go. That's all we need, I think. And here he is. So I'll just take this thing and drag it straight into there. Now, if I go into the animator, here is that anim animator, animator controller for Thug5. And I can open up the FBX, and right down here is that breathing idle animation. If I drag it in here, there it is. Now, this is just going to begin playing whenever you r run the game. So it's just going to, that's going to be the uh, first, th first thing that plays. So now if I hit play and I peek over the edge here, you can see he's moving around, moving back and back and forth. So I'm going to go down there and take a look at him. And there he is. So you have to admit, that's pretty cool. Uh, I know it's not um, directly Blender, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out how this, this is all going to work because I wanna, I'm trying to find a pipeline that I can use because I'm going to need a lot of uh, background uh, characters. So this, I think, can be helpful for that. All right, now, if you don't want to do that, if and that may not be possible for me, be, for everybody, for the main uh, characters, because for me, as I said, I'm going to need some teenagers, uh, a teenage boy and a teenage girl. And um, I can't figure out in Fuse how to make them younger or older. It doesn't give you that option. You know what I mean? It just, there's no make older, younger, whatever. However, in Blender, let's go back to Blender here. There is this Manuel Bastioni Labs. And um, this is just an, an add-on that I've uh, downloaded from his website. Um, and... It, uh, then I went into File, User uh, Preferences, and in here, where is it? Here it is, Characters. Characters, Manuel Bastioni. Um, and I've added it here by turning on because this is a pretty good option as well. All right, I'm going to save this scene. Actually, I'm going to save it as a new scene here. All right. So now we've got uh, Caucasian female, Asian, um, Afro, anime, 
So we've got quite a few options here. I am going to go with African female like this because that is one character I will need is a teenage um, female, t a teenage girl um, in the st uh, uh, story that I'm hoping to do here. So now that I've chosen that, it says use Cycles materials, yeah, I've got that. Use portrait studio lights, yes, let's do that. So, initialize character, bam, let's try that. And there she is, okay. So now, let's frame this up. And what I'm gonna do is turn on the rendered view right here really though 35,000 tries okay well that's something that we'd probably have to deal with at some point in time right um, so let me kind of zoom out here all right so let's say we want to try and uh, adjust her to a, a different character, younger, adjust skin color, etc., etc. Let's see what we can do here. Um, first of all, I think what I'll do is go to, is it body param? Oh, here, skin editor. Let's try this. Um, skin editor, we've got eyes, skin bump, complexion. Let's try complexion. What does that do? White. Oh, here we go. This is good. So let's take this to uh, 0.8. Let's try that. That's not bad. That's good. Okay. So we can adjust the skin color here that's good um, you can also adjust the uh, subsurface scattering bump but I think I'm okay with the bump and the eyes the eye colors I kinda like that alright so let's try this for now um, actually what if I changed the, the sub Dermal. Uh, I don't really like that. Let's go back to there. All right, let's try this. Um, what else should we try? Oh, I wanted to make it make her younger. Let's try this. Character age. All right. So if we went up, it would probably be older. Yeah, that's older. Okay. How about if we go down to like 0.5? No, no, no. How about if we go down to negative 0.5? Let's try that. Okay, now it's getting younger. Let's go all the way down to negative 1. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, more of a teen character. That's good. Yeah. So there's quite a bit of possi possi possibility here because uh, for me at, l at, at least I can um, adjust the age of people here. So I think this is really going to be helpful for me for my project for the main characters. I think probably what I'll do is use this to generate the main characters and then build up off of that. Um, I think. I think. The problem is, is I don't know that you have blend shapes or, or shape keys built into this. Um, whereas with the other, you do. Let's, um, let me show you one thing that I thought was pretty cool here. If we, um, oh, I'm going to have to 
if I take this guy and let me go to the body mesh renderer blend shapes and let me move in here watch what you can do with this in unity so you could animate this or pose it or whatever so watch this I mean you've got all these uh, uh, facial keys that you can play with let me see if I can find one that we can actually see work so this is uh, let me make sure I've got the right character here right I think I do uh, let's try blink can I get him to blink there he is so that's closing the eye there closing the eye there and those are the um, these are the eye eyelashes, and I'm not wild about those. But uh, cheek puff. There you go. Look at that. Ah, nice. So the cool thing about this is I've got the ability to play with the the uh, uh, shape keys, blend sh uh, shapes, whatever you want to call them, right here in Unity as I set up a scene. And that could be important for me. Whereas with these characters over here, I'm not seeing any way to... I mean, you can, you've got an... Uh, an expression tool here and you can switch like amused crying frown worried but that doesn't help me a whole lot when it's in unity so I'm not sure I'm not sure how this is going to work out um, so yeah what is this this is an add-on yes this is an add-on for blender it's a Manuel Bastioni lab let's go take a look at it here actually let's see if we can um, Manuel there it is here it is version now I'm on 1.3 so it very well could be that 1.4 has added some more things um let's see looks like he's improved some things textures uv layout so i if you are interested please co go here to manuel bastioni and um check it out download the add-on apply the add-on and um, play around it's pretty cool so my concern is um, how am I going to get this into unity that's that's my concern so I'm not sure yet I'm really really not but if I do this in blender I can use the rigify add-on to rig it or I can use the uh, pitchy poi um, to rig it as well so once I'm all done with this I would um, go to the pose tools I think and change this to a T pose like that uh, there's also a relaxed pose I believe um, Well, if I hit reset pose, yeah, that's kind of a a relaxed pose there. But the T pose, I think, is probably the the best for what I want to do. So once you do that, um, and you have this, then you can come down here to finalize and click finalize, and then 
it thinks. And then let's see what it does here. Is it going to crash? Hopefully not. Okay, so now it looks as if, let's go back to here. Now we have, no, did it, uh, I don't see that it actually finalized it. I guess it did. And here is, and it looks like it's rigged. Let's take a look. It does have uh, shape keys. That's interesting. So it comes in with uh, shape keys. That's very interesting. Uh, let's take a look. So. What can I do with this? <laughs> uh, what is uh, what good is it? Let me uh, click the value and drag that. Okay, so we've got some shape keys here. Interesting. Well, that could be helpful. Maybe we can. We've got brows, cheek. Uh, eyes. What do the eyes do? Oh, it's brows here. Okay. Well, very nice. So I did not know that they came in with uh, shape keys. It's it's not real clear exactly what they do. They're not labeled real well. But you could certainly rename them and figure that out. Huh. All right. Well, I'm impressed. So I think what I will probably do is go ahead and uh, download that 1.4. And then in future episodes, I'll begin working on this and seeing if I can create um, a procedure, a process, a pipeline, whatever you want to call it, so that we can create characters using this add-on, create the um, clothing, whatever, on the characters, and then um, get them into uh, Substance Painter, and then into Unity. So this is going to be interesting. This is uh, going to be a challenge, but I like that. It sounds like fun. So ultimately, I'll be creating um, probably half a dozen main characters. Um, one of the characters, let me see if I can find one quickly. I've just begun uh, drawing them up. Let's see if I can find it here in all my clutter. <laughs> uh, Let's see. Uh, here, right here. This guy. So what I did here is I actually exported a figure out of the Blender add-on, the Manuel Bastioni Lab plugin. Exported that out and laid him underneath here like this so that I could draw over the top of them and create these kinds of uh, uh, drawings. So this is one of the characters that I'll be uh, hopefully creating in the not too distant future. Um, so that's that's one that's one of them. Uh, okay so um, well how are you guys doing? I've been really uh, working on this just to try and figure it out. Um, what uh, What's going on out here? Can I use shape keys with the expressions? 
Yeah, sure, sure. You could use um, a base key and then create other expressions beyond that. Uh, and that's probably what I'll have to do. Um, yes, and the rig, it seems like you are correct with the Manuel plugin that the rig um, is applied after you finalize it. But my question is then, can I use that rig to actually animate and pose? Uh, are there control objects that I can grab and move around? Um, let's see. Did you miss a live stream yesterday? No, no, I had to go to jury, jury duty. <laughs> I, uh, and I was not selected for the jury. Woohoo! Um, so that was good. <laughs> Cause I didn't want to have to sit in a jury. It was a homicide trial and involving shootings. And that just sounded very depressing. I did not want to be there for that. So I'm glad they picked other people. Um, so um, this is what I will continue working on trying to figure out a process for the characters. Um, hopefully once I do it can help others uh, um, in the work they're doing. Uh, but for now I'm, I'm still just trying to figure out what it's going to be. Um, coming up, though, in the next few uh, videos, what I will be doing is working on... Let's see if I can find my reference images here. A container cargo ship thing that we talked about last time. Let me see here. So, uh, container ship. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to create something like this. <laughs> uh, something like that. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. That's going to be that's going to be big. So this is kind of the next thing I'm going to be working on. This will take a while, so don't uh, <laughs> um so that's the kind of thing I'm going to have to create. I like this one here. So that's going to be big. But I also need the interior of it in here. So I'm going to need to create something like this. So maybe I might use something like this image. Uh, no, so, and this one. I like this one a lot. So this and that's not bad. But I think I want this and that. I want to combine this one and that one. So I think first of all I'll create the interior because that seems a little bit easier and that it's and then at some point in time as I said I'm gonna to have to start working on that bad boy and we're gonna see it like this <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, I am insane for even thinking about this. But I really want to do it. So, hopefully um, in the next probably couple of weeks, this is what I'm going to be working on. And I'd love it if you could join me as we work on this. There's a lot of things I'm going to have to just figure out along the way. I don't really know how to do all of this. So, it's going to be fun. So, all right. Well, I appreciate you hanging out today. Uh, we'll get together tomorrow and see if we can begin on that uh, 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 cargo hold. So, let's see if there's anything else going on out here. Uh, let's see. Anybody... I love that people are beginning to connect and, and working on projects. That's awesome. I love that. All right. All right. 
Well, you guys, I hope you have a great day, um, and I will see you tomorrow, uh, 2.30 my time, and uh, have, a, have a great day, and take care.